Good evening. Welcome to Cascade Fashion KC. And today we are in the lovely and beautiful jewel of our community in Charlie Parker Square. And we have the famous and very noteworthy Mrs. Margie Evans, a very distinguished fashion designer and creator here in Kansas City, Missouri. Good evening, Good evening. Margie. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. It's a pleasure to be here today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. You have a very nice home here. Thank you very it's much. It's a jewel. It's a jewel in our community, right? I appreciate that, yes. There you go very yes, much. Why don't you tell the audience uh, who you are? Well, my name is Margie Evans. I'm a fashion designer, and the name of my business is called Model Material Now. Uh, I have a silent partner, and uh, we just uh, decorate and design. We decorate homes, and we make designs for different shape and size for anyone, men and men or women. Men and women, yes. huh? And tell us about, you know, I want to focus in on your creativity. Okay. Tell me what sparked you to, to choose this as a profession. Well, I started out um, a model for Jones for four years. Okay. And by me being tall, it was always hard for me to find something to fit my body because I'm my instinct was 34. So I, my grandmother and my mother were dressmakers, uh, and and so they taught me how to make down clothes. Then they started making clothes for me, and as I got older, they showed me how to sew. Okay. So it was a blessing because I had a chance to make my own clothes even in high school. Okay. And then there was my father, he was into fashions in New York. He bought me clothes from, he sent me clothes from New York and it just took off in there from mother and father and grandmother. So you had this uh, this instinct when you were uh, a child. Yes. Making dial friend. clothes. Right. That was a good training. It was. You know what I mean? Really the road was. to success is always under construction. <laughs> yes, it Always does. under construction. It does. Boy, that is exciting. Now tell us some, what, what are some of your your uh your your design what do you like to design well i like something different um i'm not really into uh i'm more into something that's elegant and classy so um i just like uh i'm into this something different i mean a lot of people said i could do my fashion in new york because i'm before my time uh -huh. so i just like to make unique things and as uh, long as it's loose and comfortable um, when you say loose and comfortable, what do you think about the attire of some of the young folks that they wear now? Well, I don't really like it at all. I mean, mm -hmm. I wish the young ladies would be more into being elegant than to being sexy. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, I've done many fashion shows where I've got girls that don't model, and if I feel they're not, they're not dressed appropriate, I ask them to model for me. And then once they, uh, I make them something or they try on something, and they model it, then they get a good response from the audience. They say, well, maybe I, I am looking, looking kind of bad. Or, That's nice. Yes. That's nice. Like each one teach one. Right. That's very Exactly. Good. I've uh, had different people model for me. I had one lady that was uh, a prostitute, and I uh, talked to her, and she modeled for me all the time. Mm -hmm. So now she does, you know, she's clean, she's off the street, and she's dressed in very appropriate. And uh, this is not like... Uh, when I was with the school district, I used to uh, have the students uh, have a dress code every Friday. So they I go through the magazines with them and teach them how to dress. So you were a school teacher? Yes. Educator? Mm -hmm. What grade? I had uh, I did special readings so with the various schools from uh, fifth grade to the last school I worked there was a Lincoln Senior High School before I went prep. Now that's where you did you graduate? I, went to play, so I bet you that was a good feeling. It man. was. Yeah. Just being in teachers' lounge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I always wonder what they do in there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it was interesting. Yeah, I know it was very interesting. <laughs> now, uh, um, you're from Kansas City, Missouri. Mm -hmm. Where where did you go to college? I went to UNKC. I took a fashion design at Penn Valley. I had Miss Bivens. And um, even after finishing my fashion design at Penn Valley, um, but one year, Ms. Bivens had me come and help her grade her students, which was an honor because mm -hmm. it was people from SACs and other buyers, and they took my opinion. And then there was a, a, another lady named Pamela Lucas that was a, a teacher at Penn Valley in Fashion Designing. She also had me come with her and uh, grade her students, and they worked. So that was an honor. Very good. Yeah. Now, do you, uh, do you have any pieces in the stores? Uh, 
No, there was a, a, a consignment shop called Little Bit Better, and I had, I was making the Louis Vuitton ponchos, and they sold so fast, I couldn't make them fast enough. But I would like to do that in the future. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. uh, I really want to spe uh, specialize in men uh, ties and bow ties. Mm -hmm. So, because I've uh, sold a few and it's been going well, so I want to get into that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you, what do you like, what, what type of attire do you like to make for men? Uh, I'm in love with the plaid. I love plaid. I like bow ties. I like uh, full lay, especially on a tall man wear full lay. I'm also trying to teach the men if you if you wear a size 12 or 13 shoe, you shouldn't wear tapered shoe. You should wear full leg. It makes them look more. It makes them flow and look look nice. Mm -hmm. Now the tight jeans, I guess not tight jeans. I say straight jeans for some men look good. So tight on, on some, yeah. But it looks good with. I mean, I'm a penny loafer and an Oxford shoe. I like. I mean, I even I like that. So I like that style, kind of classy, conservative. Yeah, you sound like a guy I know named Carlos Nelson. He dresses a little conservative like that. Right. You know, he's an East Coast guy. Yeah, and I like that. Yeah. I like what you have on. Thank you very yeah, much. It's very nice. Yo, know, uh, Carlos, he gets a little bit beside himself sometimes, but he likes to sport them up a little bit. He, he tries <laughs> to portray one way, but I know, I know the real well, he's way. He's hidden, right? I okay. know, I know. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, uh, graduated from Lincoln High School, went to UNKC, and then you started teaching school, and then you were always doing design. What do you think is the greatest thing about your creativity? Because creativity, if you find creativity in something that you like, it's a really a blessing. It is, because I do have some customers that like to dress different, mm -hmm. so that's the best part about being creative. Uh, no one has it, mm -hmm. and it's gonna look good, mm -hmm. but no one has it, and everyone can look the same in it. Right. So I do have personal uh, customers that, if I make it for them, I don't make it for anyone else. Mm -hmm. So it's like everything's like one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, creativity is the mother load of success. Yes, it is. We got a good example of it right here. Thank you. Now, what are some of the, your famous pieces that you've ever designed? Um, I've done. Uh, well, I, I would say we done, because like I said, I have a partner, but we don't compare who made what. I want people to get used to the name Model Material now. So we deal with um, Gucci, Louis Vuitton fabric. Uh, we take denim and make other outfits out of it. We just, just give me some fabric and I just make, I, I might take a sleeve, I'll put another kind of sleeve in, I do that too, just re, redo the whole outfit. Restoration. Right. Retro. Right. Okay. Now, what, where do you? What's your vision for the next five years? Well, I would love to um, find maybe two stores I can put my things in, like once a month, getting something different. Mm -hmm. Because having a store is pretty hard. I've had a store for twelve years at thirty one ten Truth, and then I had a chance to manage a gallery on Eighteenth and Vine. It's called the Old Room Gallery, and so uh, his name is Christoph. And he had his artifacts, and I had my fashions on the other side. And it was a lot of fun. I would like, to, I, if I could do another store, I would like to be on Vine. But the, I'm just waiting for them to get together down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see your fashion pieces being in New York or somewhere, West Coast? or? Yes. Mm -hmm. I do. I've, I, now I've had some customers where we have made things for them and sent it out of town. Really? Mm -hmm. Many times. Really? Yes. Now, do you make shirts for men? Yes. Uh, what kind of shirts do you like to make? Uh, I, I like linen in the summertime. I like to put pleats in the back. And uh, just, they just let me do my thing because uh -huh. I've done, uh, like, okay, Pastor. Uh, Butler, I think, at Palestine. Yeah. I redid some of his suits and I put cuffs on his sleeves. Oh, really? And it was short. It was really short. Really? Mm -hmm. He bought that stuff from, from out of town and he wanted it done, so I did it for him. Mm -hmm. So I even think it looked good with a suit with short sleeve, mm -hmm. you know, with the bow tie. Um, like, cause I love plaid, so I'd like to put a plaid uh, blazer on a man, even on a woman, mm -hmm. and wear with jeans. Or, mm -hmm. Sound like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is not fun. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Of, I can tell you like this stuff. I right? do. Would you like to do another show with us on? I uh, sure would. You would? Mm -hmm. We'll have to make that happen. Isn't that right, Marlo? Yeah, we, we'd like for you to come back and uh, and talk to the people a little bit more. Okay. You know, we, we can call this our pilot uh, um, 
interview with you. Okay. This will be the pop. Tell the folks the name of your, your business. Model Material Now. And where and where are you where can how can they get in touch with you? Well they can call me by appointment and it's 816-527-0422. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to give me your interpretation of creativity. Because that's where we are right now. Remember I told you we're gonna focus in on creativity, right? Right. right. Well this um if I, I can be in a fabric store and just browse around and look at different kind of fabric and I think, well, I can put that with that and I can do this with that. I mean, that's how, I mean, when I go to a fabric store, it's like going to the mall. I'm in there for hours thinking of uh, what I can do with that. And plus, uh, I'm glad the afro is back because I think, uh, sometimes I go by the afro, I think it's nice to have a suit on with the, with the afro. I like the locks uh, as long as they are looking decent. I'm trying to get the young man to pull their pants up and show the real them, because it's really classy to have locks and a nice crisp white shirt and, and some nice slacks and penny loafers or oxfords or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Well, uh, can you give our young people a word of who might be interested in doing fashion design? And yes, I can tell them to go to Penn Valley, and if um, I, they have good fashion design class there, and then there's Kaplan's on the plaza, they have a sewing class there, and then Hancock also has sewing classes, and they're not expensive all. A lot of people think that Kaplan's is expensive because it's on the plaza, but it's not, and they, uh, there's been some ladies that, that uh, took classes there and did a fashion show right there in the store, so. Really? Where is Kaplan's on the plaza? Um, I, I don't know the four address, I know it's like two blocks uh, south of Nichol Nicholson on the plaza. Okay. I can't even picture them being on the plaza. Well, they've been on the plaza for... I've heard the name. Well, they, they've been on the plaza for, I mean, I'll say maybe 50 some years now, but they have uh, the Burberry fabric. They got the Gucci. But I order mine's online. Okay. But, uh... Okay. And and what 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 do you what do you think our young people should be looking for if they want to choose this as a career? Well, they got to really put their heart in. It take a lot of time. Uh, if you know how to sew, uh, make something for someone or experiment on yourself and someone like it, that's how I started, by me wearing what I like. And if I run to a lady that's tall like myself, I just tell her, I, if I tell her I made it, then I have a customer. So this is networking. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, uh, sometimes, like if I go to a plaza, I've gone to the plaza with a, with a Louis Vuitton whole outfit with a measure tape around my neck, and I've got customers that way. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cute. Uh, yeah. And clever. Yes. We better watch you, Mark. Uh, I don't know. I'm, this is my season. Okay, this is your season. This is my season. I like it. Yes. Tell the people out there something, a word you like to leave them with today. Uh, for the young ladies, um, it doesn't take a lot of makeup and showing a lot of cleavage and and dresses so short to, to look attractive. Um, for the... Uh, um, if you look at yourself in the mirror, if, if, if your stomach is below your belt, it's too small, and the, the pants you're wearing is too small. So uh, just try to change your, your image. Don't be a follower. And for the young men, if they could uh, iron your jeans, I mean, wear them normal and wear clean. It's okay to have locks, but it has someone to do touch up on your locks. I mean, I'm just more into the natural uh, a child house so this look decent and you'd be surprised the jobs you can get and and even in school the teacher will appreciate it mm -hmm. yeah. well ladies and gentlemen we heard it best here today down in our jewel of our community the charlie parker square we got miss uh, margie evans here mm -hmm. a very creative lady here and i like to leave you with this word the word is creativity is a mother lord of success mm -hmm. and we have been today with Cascade Fashion KC and look for Margie uh, next month. We'll have another live interview with her next month and uh, Good evening ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much